Hey friends, you are watching Tips and Tricks Sidda, and today I am going to tell you two more additional features of MS PowerPoint. If you don't have subscribed my channel, click on subscribe button below the video and also click on the bell button to get all notifications of new videos. So first of that feature was the clipboard. A clipboard is an hidden area or place which carries the copied or cutted file. Means that if we have copied any file, it copies to clipboard and when we paste it on any place, it goes to place on that place. So clipboard is a hidden space where the file copies when you copy it. So in a PowerPoint, if I have a picture like this and as I am here going to copy it and now if I want to know how much file I have copied and which file I have copied and I want to remove the file from that copy so for that in the home tab here in the clipboard group here was the expand option click on it and here you can see the clipboard and here was the clipboard and it shows the file you have copied as I have copied this photo it is showing here and if we click on it it paste that photo file and you can also here clear the file from clipboard it can also select the multiple file like i am going to duplicate this photo and now i am going to once again select this and now i am going to copy and here you can see this file is showing that it is written that preview is not available because it is much of the photos so it is not able to show the preview firstly i am going to delete these photos and now i am going to paste these and here you can see all the photos are pasted and if i want to clear this from here i can clear all and now nothing was in the clipboard and now the next additional feature of the powerpoint was that if uh, like that i have made this powerpoint which has uh, one slide i am going to firstly add here an animation that was fade on this photo and now I am making it with previous and now like that if I am going to save this and I want to send this PowerPoint to others and also want that they cannot edit it and get any of the file means that they can only see the effect which I have added so by saving it here i'm going to save it on desktop here was an additional feature that was mpeg for videos mean that if i'm going to select this this powerpoint will directly convert it to the video and show every effect which i have added on that powerpoint so i am going to firstly save this on desktop so that i can show you and now going to save and i think it has been saved and here was the video and now i'm going to play it and now here i'm going to play the video as in the starting you uh, you can see that there was clipboard and then the photo appears as i have added a fade effect on this photo in very beginning so it appears so by this you can directly change your powerpoint to a video and you don't have to adjust anything or do anything so by that anyone can only able to see the effect so these are the two additional features so that's all for today and in the next video i will so in the next video i will upload a new analog effect so keep watching my videos and if you like it you can subscribe and share to your other friends so that's all for today so thank you friends